to another Andy B two minute video. Have you ever heard the expression you can't see the wood for the trees? If you haven't, it simply means this. You could be stood in a forest and you're looking at such detail. Where's the wood? Looking down at your feet, perhaps, that you can't see beyond the tree in front of you that that tree is actually part of an entire forest. Can't see the wood for the trees. Over the weekend, I was feeling quite low about life. I was thinking, do you know what? We, we haven't done what I thought we should do. And I had this list of things we needed to do. We did our usual filming lot on Saturday. On Sunday, we did a load of work in the garage. And we cut up loads and loads of wood, maybe two to four weeks worth of wood for the household over the winter. And we get through quite a bit. But I felt this morning in particular quite low at what we hadn't done. Chatted with my friend Alan, who's a really, really good guy uh, from Scotland, really lovely chap. And we talk most days and we kind of bolster each other up and we encourage each other. And if we've got something that we're struggling with, we, we tell the other person and they help us to work it through. And I shared with him, I'm, I'm quite low and down. And he gave me two bits of great advice. One, go and listen to some worship music. And two, go and read the book of Philippians, which I did. And I would encourage you, if you are down, go and read the book of Philippians. It's amazing. That whole thing of focusing whatever is true, whatever is good, whatever is noble, it's a wonderful little verse. But if you read it in the context of four chapters of Philippians, it's so much more powerful. The thing is, I'd lost sight of what we'd done because I was looking so much at what we hadn't done. I couldn't see what we had actually accomplished. And we accomplished a lot, recorded a radio show. For Connect Radio, we, we did our usual film and the boys did their endurance show and I did Marriage Matters. We got a little weekly roundup catch-up video that we did. We did some planning. We got some write-up stuff done for the website. We did so much work. It was about five hours of work on the Sunday to get all the wood sorted. We did an awful lot. We had dinners. We had showers. We had exercise. and But we hadn't done X, Y, and Z in my head that we should have done. Do you have that too? I'm sure you do. You're so busy working hard that instead of seeing what you've actually accomplished, you see all the stuff that you haven't. Can I encourage you just to find yourself an Alan in your life? Go and pray for someone like him who can help you when you're feeling a little bit low to refocus your eyes. And can I encourage you, don't forget to look back at what you have done when you're thinking, I haven't done all that I should. Look at what you have done. Just a thought. <laughs>